Ah, Admiral, welcome to the Ministry for Extraordinary Maritime Engineering, or as we like to call it, MIM. My name is Dieter and I'm the Chief Engineer. We are a research institute that creates warship designs for the Navy that some consider outlandish. We've created designs such as a battleship that uses torpedoes as its main armament, a destroyer with 8-inch guns, and we're even testing the mounting of torpedo tubes on merchant vessels. Can you imagine the surprise when a merchant vessel suddenly launches a torpedo at a raiding warship? You're just in time to help shape the next designs that we are coming up with. I would like to ask you to keep an open mind. Our designs are frowned upon by some of the more traditional ship designers. The designs we create aren't for everybody. But with an open mind and experimental new tactics, your navy can do great things for Germany. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to the 1940s campaign for Germany. But not just any 1940s campaign. No, as you've seen, we are building some ships which were designed by meme. Meme ships, if you will. The difficulty is going to be hard, as usual. The AI opponent this time I have set to historical to see what sort of historical AI and hopefully historical designs we're going to see. But I'm going to create my own fleet which were designed by the Meme Bureau. Let's have a look. Here we are. Let's see what the British have. We're looking at three battleships, three battle cruisers, 11 heavies, 16 lights, and 20 destroyers. This is more reasonable than what I have seen them get if you go for a random fleet design. Because I've also had them build about 70 ships, 50-something uh, of which were destroyers. This is a fairly balanced navy. Unfortunately, the Meme Bureau does not make fairly balanced ships to counter these. So, let's see what tech I have to work with. Um, when it comes to new breakthroughs, we're looking at big guns, which are the Mark V 14-inch guns. <laughs> we need 14-inch guns when you have Mark III 20s. We should be fine. Um, like I said in the intro, this is not a campaign that is going to be for the faint of heart. It is not a campaign for traditionalists or people who are opposed to building weird designs. But if you can put your, let's say, your more uh, critical, stringent, how should I put this, historical designs to rest, then you should have a grand old time here. All right, allow me to show you my first battleship. This is the Mackenzie class, named after Alexander Mackenzie. He's one of our designers who's currently quarantined, sadly. This ship is capable of dealing with just about anything the Royal Navy can throw at us. We have an 18-inch quadruple turret on the bow. This is the main firepower of the ship. In case we encounter cruisers, we have a triple set of 9-inch wing turrets. The funnels all the way here on the back to provide smoke interference for absolutely nobody. In case we have problems with smaller ships, we have the ability to deal with those with triple 4-inch guns. And she has another double 9-incher on the bow. Sorry, double 8-incher on the bow. This is going to allow us to deal with everything. This is a design that's capable of transfer, transferring, um, of sailing about halfway across the globe at almost 20,000 kilometer range. She's not terribly fast at 26 knots, but she's very well protected at maximum bulkheads, group 4, a lot of barbette armor, a decent amount of anti-torpedo protection. The ship is capable of detecting torpedoes at some better range than usual, she is very well protected with an almost 32-inch main belt, a very heavy fore belt and fore deck, as well as an aft deck and a fairly balanced conning tower and superstructure armor. The reason why I didn't show you the design process for this is because it was uh, fairly lengthy. Let's see what I what else I come up what else I can come up with. Uh, the modern battle cruiser. I think lends itself pretty well to being a huge torpedo spammer because it is so long. Now I have found a way to um, confuse the designer, if you will, because watch this. If I set up the main tower and then I take a second and set up the secondary tower, it's in the normal orientation, right? But if I click this and then rapidly click, how do I do that? Um, I was able to put the secondary tower down in reverse, which made for a fantastic... There. 
which <laughs> which made for a fantastic, albeit slightly curious design. Yes, there. This is going to allow for another turret up here. Um, the designer has been patched pretty well, but you can still do weird shit like this. <clears throat> right. So, we're going to have to have at least some main guns, otherwise the ship won't allow me, or the, <clears throat> the editor won't allow me to leave dock. The battleship has our 18-inch guns. This one is more going to be akin to a couple of 13-inch uh, dual barrels, I suppose. What do you mean they don't work well? It's because you don't have them oriented the right way, see? They work perfectly well. No problem here. Right. Uh, we're going to need a funnel, which I am going to have to put here. The ship is going to be crew 4. Uh, Barbettes, yeah, would be nice. She is going to be a torpedo spammer. Which means that we have a lot of those. I'm going to mix a quintuple and quadruple, so fives and fours. And by doing that, I make sure that I have something loaded most of the time. Because the quads take uh, currently 871 seconds to reload, but that's not telling the whole story. Because they're going to be 23 inches. I'm going to make these long-range torpedo spammers. In order to do that, we're going to have to go with oxygen fueled. Because that puts these at 22 kilometer range. Um, it's a bit of an expensive ship to spam torpedoes with at this range. Because it's currently 66 million. But hey, it's there to drop a couple of torps, okay, maybe a lot of torps, and then disengage. That's what she does. And that's what she's going to do uh, fairly expensively. We need to do a bit of spacing here, otherwise these won't have a decent firing angle. There. <clears throat> okay, what else can I use? Oh, I have a four weight offset problem. You don't say. There. So much for the four weight offset problem. Fixed. No more four weight offset problem. We're going to need a lot of these torps. So we're going to go with an increased complement. Uh, range finding is more of a secondary concern. Because these guns are more of an afterthought than anything else. So let's go with a, I don't know, Coincidence 3. You're going to get a cheap radar. You're going to get some sonar. Uh, RDF would be nice. Our anti-torpedo? Nah. We'll just not get hit by torpedoes, okay? That's the deal. We'll just not get hit by torpedoes. That's the plan. Um, when it comes to speed, speed is nice. Because that allows me to stay alive. In that case, a turboelectric drive is potentially very useful because it allows 200% acceleration and 75% deceleration, as well as even more turning rate. But it's expensive. Well, it's not that expensive. It's 155 million. I can deal with that. How fast can I make this? Yes, now we're talking. 45 knots. Because everybody needs a 45 knot torpedo boat in their arsenal. Uh, especially when it's the size of a battle cruiser. They're only 206 million, so they're a bargain. They're really not that much of a deal. Um, let's get some better steering on here. Oh, sorry, 268 million. Still, a bargain, I say. We have a turning circle. Well, we have one. <laughs> it's still 1,032 meters. So don't expect this thing to be turning anywhere quickly. Armor? What's that? We don't need armor where we're going. Because I have torpedoes that can hit you at 20 kilometer range. And you cannot hit me at 20 kilometer range. Considering I still have an aft weight offset, I will put some 5 inches here. Just because I can. Uh, and I'll put some 4 inches here to balance out the ship. There we go. Point 0.2. I still need to get the aft belt a slight upgrade. There we go. And we can make it faster. 46 knots. Is doable. Oh, that's the max of this. <laughs> that's the max speed. Yeah, okay. Um, nah, these are slightly expensive, but otherwise, okay. Reload time on the quintuples is 1800 seconds, so that's half an hour. And on these, it is 1449 seconds. 
So we're talking, what's that, 20 minutes, give or take. I think this is perfectly fine. This should do. Can I make it slightly, slightly smaller to save at least some weight? 276 million, some guns have poor fields of fire. No, they don't. Everything is working as intended. 47,000 tons, yes, it still works. 46,000 tons, it still works. 45, no, 45 ships overweight. 45,500 sold for 45,500 tons. Now we're going to need a good name for this thing. Let's have a look. Here we are. This is the Orion J, sorry, Rion J class battle cruiser torpedo boat. Um, I am pulling these names from subscribers which have gotten comments on the last couple of videos that have gotten a lot of upvotes. So if that is something uh, that you would like to try and get, post a good comment down below and perhaps you'll get a ship class named after you as well. All right, so that's the Battlecruiser. Um, a slightly expensive, 264 million. It is not a cheap ship to build, but it is more than worth it. Uh, it is, in fact... A lot more expensive than this weird-ass battleship, because this is 175 million. This thing is 264 million. Okay, time to go with something else. What else are we going to need? We're going to need something to deal with destroyers. And I imagine that a advanced armored cruiser, or a... Well, what do we have? This is maximum 37,000 tons. No, we're going to hunt these things down with a fairly small heavy cruiser. Let's see. I want good base accuracy because I'm hunting small ships. That's going to be the advanced tower. And the secondary tower is going to be, let's see, base accuracy. Yeah, it's highest here, 17. No, 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 no. Work with me here, designer. I want that thing in reverse. Yep, there it is. The devs are going to hate me for this. Um, we're going to have to put Krupp 4 on this. Otherwise, I won't really have place to put anything else down. Let's see. This thing can go nowhere. What the hell? What sort of a sad cruiser are you? Hull form 90? Why are you so... Poorly. You just not stash any fuel or something. A maximum of 10,000 kilometer range? I think not. Here, the large cruiser starts out at 14,000. If I slim it down, it's going to do 9,000. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, this thing is 30,000 tons. Oh. Uh, um, I'm trying to keep these things cheaper, you see? But the moment that you start upgrading shit like this, and like the engines, you're already sitting at 52 million. That's without towers and stuff. Now, I want to keep these things fairly small and potentially pretty maneuverable. This is 934 meter turning circle. This is 481. This is more like it. Okay, we're going to stick with this design. That's probably not going to do, because we're hunting these things down at 34 knots. And this will give me an engine efficiency 54. Jesus. Um, right. Anti torp. Turtle back. Or, or nothing. It saves me a bit. Let's go for a turtle back. More resistance. Anti flood. How am I supposed to make this thing work? Right? I still need to add main guns. But these are only 125 tons. So we have some options. And pff, no, I think this hull's not quite gonna work out. <clears throat> Scrap that. What else? Heavy Cruiser 2. 15,000 tons. That's more like it. It's going to hopefully make it a bit cheaper. Give me the turbo electric... <laughs> Don't give me the turbo electric drive. 
bit, bit too much. Turtle back. Anti floods. Anti torp. Main tower. What do we have? Oh shit! Shouldn't have clicked on that halt. Heavy cruiser. All the way down. Group four. Anti torp three. Reinforced double. Halt four. Gear turbines. Jeez, that's expensive. Seventy-five million. Eighty-four. Thank you. That's more reasonable. Super steering, because we're hunting down destroyers, and we need to make sure I can dodge that. 321 meter turning circle. Now we are getting somewhere an unbalanced rudder, and we have a 238. How can I make this as weird as possible? I can go for a fast ship. That is pretty poorly uh, armed. So basically a huge destroyer. Yeah, we're going to go with modern tower one. Save weight. Secondary tower. There. Let's throw on a funnel. Considering I'm expecting this thing to do 37 knots, I'll probably have to go with a pretty big funnel like that. Engine efficiency 26. No. No, 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 no. 77. Having a better funnel system also boosts your operational range. So I'm always trying to get to 100. Fine, be like that. Um, anti flood, yes, please. Citadel, yes, please. Oh, God, this is going to be difficult. I don't have a single gun. The smallest main guns that I can bring are six inches. These would reload in 12 seconds. Oh, geez, I haven't even upgraded range finding either. Or sorry, not range finding, but loaders. Electro hydros. Some Barbie armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the ship's overweight. Fine. Wait for it. Wait for it. We're gonna spit out so many four-inch shells that they'll run screaming. If not simply from looking at the ship. Okay, I can still fit two inches. That's it? What sort of an amateur hull are you? There we go. Okay, so now we have a fairly decent amount of firepower, at least when dealing with small ships. If you're going to be dealing with bigger ships, I probably won't do very well with this ship. But I might be able to burn stuff down. If I'm able to get a higher fire chance. This is 17 and a half. This is 25, I'll take that. And then for the propellant, anything that causes fires, which none of it does. Shell pen, shell damage, this is less fire chance. This is going to make it a lot more expensive. We're not even that much over, interestingly. Huh, okay. Can I go for 36 knots then? Is that more feasible? 35? Yeah, there we go. 35. That ought to do it. We just need to save a little bit of weight. And on top of that, I'll still need to get rid of a lot of weight on the bow. There. This is going to be a weird-ass ship. If I do this, no. Come on, sit. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Um, I will need a better four belt because I'm still dealing with something that might be able to punch holes in this ship. Superstructures. I want superstructure two inch. I want at least some protection there. Oh, come on. Whatever. We don't need deck armor. Deck armor's for wimps. We'll be fine. 
main deck, four inches. That should be fine. Um, I don't like that 2% four weight offset, but I think it's going to be difficult to deal with. Unless... No. Well, maybe. Can I fit a two-incher here? Yeah. <laughs> These are two three-inch turrets. Oh, sorry, yeah, three-inch... No, two-inch guns, but three-ton turrets there just to balance the ship out. <laughs> Fine. I'll take it. Conning tower. There you go. Okay. So this is our uh, small ship hunter. And we'll name this ship the Tuzovka Dmitri. This is going to be our Russian boat in disguise. Okay, so we can deal with battleships. We can deal with everything else, with, <laughs> with torpedoes. Uh, and the Tuzovka is going to be capable of dealing with small ships. That's a good start. That's a good start. Now, the enemy has three battleships, so I'll build three battleships as well. There. I want to have a couple of battle cruisers. Considering that I can hit potentially the heavies and the lights with torpedoes as well as these guys, I'm going to go with four battle cruisers. What? I'm going to go with two battle cruisers because otherwise I don't have the budget to build anything else because I got 437 million. I'm going to need a couple of heavy cruisers. Let's go with five for now, and that puts me at 159 million to build something else. Let's get a new design going. Um, I already got the, the weird-ass battleship. I got the torpedo cruiser. I got the small ship hunter. What sort of a weird destroyer can I design? Or do I need to have at least one feasible ship? Because as it stands, I'm pretty... pretty much risking it on a combination of ships, which I might not get. Can I make the cheapest destroyer possible? Destroyer 3? Tiny? Um, I don't know, 35 knots. If I can just spam these things to kingdom come, then I can probably still deal a fairly respectable amount of damage. There, nice quintuple on the top. Ship's not going to be top heavy at all. Arm tower. Aft weight, 40%. Grow up. Let's throw in a funnel first. Angled funnel, there you go. Oh, now I have a four weight offset? Make up your mind. Three inch there, aft weight offset. Fine. Bow offset. These are going to be electrics. Speed is 36 knots. That's fine. 21 inches should be sufficient. Uh, this will deal a nice amount of damage. Especially the stuff which, of course, does not have any kind of torpedo protection. But I suppose that most ships will. When it comes to anti-flood, that's going to be important. Because I don't want to lose these too quickly. Range finding. I'll give them some range finding to allow for short range warfare. Mm. Let's make this a quad. 1% four weight offset, 0.9 aft. That's fine. <clears throat> I can deal with that. Advanced, auto loading. This is going to make it a lot more expensive. That's a million. Shaft. Let's give him some better range. If I can keep these sub 7.5, nope. Sub so seven and a half million, that'd be great. This is eight and a half claw, eight and a half thousand. That barely saves me anything. Engine efficiency is a hundred. Can't really save there. Reinforced bulkheads means I get a bit more buoyancy. Yeah, I'll take it. Steam steering. Let's upgrade your steering, shall we? No, sub seven and a half million is what I said. Seven and a half million and change. There. Yes, I know. It's still technically 893 over. Fine. Fine. There. 
Uh, whatever. Whatever, we'll just have to work with it. I would like some better hydro, but I think our turning circle is sufficient. 202. Yeah, this ought to do. This destroyer will be named the Anderson 166 class. Why 166? I'm, I'm sorry, I cannot tell you this classified information. You'll just have to take my word for it. Okay, let's go and save the design and get a whole bunch of those boys out there. Let's go with 20 destroyers. And I have 8 million. I'm, what? I'm down 5.5 million a month? <laughs> no. Um, I don't really believe in tech, at least not in the current version of the campaign, because it is simply going to take too much time and you don't really get a lot out of it. So I'm not going to do that. I will do crew training and I'd love to get more money per month. If I want to build bigger ships, it's going to be an upgrade for 7,000 tons for 70 million. Whew. That's expensive. If I do that... Oh, I'm still gaining money per month. That's fine. Okay, let's set these boys up on various different ports. I want some of the battle cruisers to be... Um, actually, I want them both to be assigned to Hamburg. These are both going to go sea control duty. I want the battleships, Mackenzie and Tirpitz, to go to Emden. Sea controlling. I want all the DDs to be sea controlling, of course. Because that's what they do best. We're going to have V1 through 10 operating out of Hamburg. I'll have three of you guys operating in Kiel, Eastern Germany. And I'll have the rest of you going to Wilhelmshaven. That means I still have the name giver, the Anderson 166 class. You're going to go to Palau. We got Dessau, Blucher. Widder, Mecklenburg, and the Tsusovka Dmitri. You're going to go to, I don't know, Bremen for no particular reason. I want one heavy cruiser in the east, Kiel. And the cruiser Dessau is going to be in Danzig. That does leave the Kaiser Wilhelm II. Where are we going to put you? We put both of you in Emden. I can put it in Kiel. Just to defend our right flank, if you will. Yep, that ought to do it. Add crew, although that doesn't save. So that should do it. That should do it. That's the start of the campaign. It's going to be a weird one. We're going to have all sorts of weird tactics. And again, this is not going to be for the faint of heart. If you are uh, a more traditional ship designer, you're probably already tuned out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you get a good laugh out of this down below in the comments. And I'll see you soon for the next.